Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to do something a bit different from the norm. Now it's quite similar to a couple of my previous videos where I covered Huawei's AI, cloud, FTTR, you know, those corporate stuff. But in today's video, we're going to find out how 5G is actually transforming, you know, warehousing as well as logistics. You know, you guys always buy a lot of things online, but do you actually know what's happening behind the scenes? What's happening in a warehouse and all that? So for today's video, we're actually going to fly all the way to Indonesia because the 5G smart warehouse is over there. And we're going to find out how, you know, Huawei's 5G is actually transforming the logistics and warehouse industry. Let's head over and talk more about that. All right, so before we begin, it's worth mentioning that, you know, in traditional warehouses, as well as the logistics and all that, everything is actually very manual. But once we have 5G implemented, everything is going to be transformed to be very clever. There's going to be a lot of automated things going on. So what you're seeing on your screens is basically where I visited the warehouse in Indonesia. As you can see above, there are actually a couple of private 5G networks that has already been set up. The 5G speeds are actually really quick. More importantly, it also boasts super low latency of just 20 milliseconds. And another crucial point is that the reliability rate is 99.99%, which essentially means it just never fails. Now, this is actually way better than the normal sub 50 millisecond latency that is claimed by other competitors. So in other words, this system here is super tight and it just works all the time. Now, you might have a question here and that is why are we having all these 5G routers? Well, obviously, like I said earlier on, this is to connect every single device that's actually in a warehouse. So we have stuff like the AGVs, we have stuff like the digital twin, we have the integrated operation center, and of course, we're going to talk a bit about the warehouse simulation design system. So let's start first and foremost with the AGVs because these are the most fun ones that I found at the warehouse. All right, so what is an AGV? Well, basically it's an automated guided vehicle and you might think of them as like tiny small robots. They're actually capable of moving trays from one place to another. Now, previously a worker would need to manually use a frog lift to transport trays in a warehouse and it's very time consuming. However, with an AGV, the operation system Itself can identify the current situation and automatically map out like which AGV should collect this, which should transport stuff, which should remove or reposition stuff, and of course, which AGV should bring stuff to the worker. So it's more like the AGVs are here bringing things to the worker instead of the worker going to the goods to go and manually you know, deal with the goods. So just imagine this, we're currently in a large warehouse space that's approximately 1,800 square meters and there's about like 10 robots connected to the 5G all at once. Now these AGVs can move at a maximum speed of like 1.2 meters per second and they can carry up to 600 kilograms in load. So that's a lot. Now based on this current setup, the entire order completion process is faster by 25%. And by using the AGV, it actually promotes a more greener, sustainable future because you know before that, they were using petrol powered forklifts but now the AGVs, they're all being charged up, you know, via electricity. So you're definitely going to reduce a lot of those petrol consumption. Just to give you a bit of a perspective, you know, one front lift in the factory might use 40 liters of petrol in a day. So multiply that by 10 and you get 400 liters and you multiply that by a month and you are really saving a lot uh, of petrol. So you're going to make sure that we have a more sustainable and greener future in this smart warehouse. All right, next, let's move on and talk a bit about the digital twin, which is something that I have covered slightly upon before this in other videos. Now you might still wonder what is a digital twin? Now essentially, a digital twin, just like the name suggests, is sort of a mirror of an existing system or in the case of the warehouse, everything that's in the warehouse is actually mapped out digitally. So for products and goods, the digital twin will show its exact location, how long it has been sitting there, and of course the worker who is in charge of it. Now a color will be used to represent if the goods has been sitting on the shelf for too long, and this will send the person in charge an alert to make sure that he goes and you know get the good done. For the storage area, it also shows what task the AGV is currently performing, their battery statuses, and whether the goods are being placed in the correct order. Ultimately, the entire flow of goods in the warehouse can be tracked to evaluate its output performance and efficiency. Now the cool tech doesn't just end with the digital twin. The deployment of this IOC is all about enabling your very quick response to address any abnormal situations that's happening in the warehouse, be it security or safety issues. Now last but not least, let's talk a bit about that warehouse design simulation system. This is also a pretty cool one. So today's 5G warehouse setup here in Indonesia is meant to inspire other warehouses to adopt this new form of operation and tech. 
What Huawei has come up with is a warehouse simulation design system, like I mentioned, that can understand one's current warehouse layout. And with Huawei AI, the system can actually do a bare warehouse evaluation and then suggest the best layout design based on the building's constraints. Now, the layout design is suggested based on the most optimal logistic route while ensuring the best use of space. Finally, the system will also then produce a score that shows how efficient the new automated layout will be based on multiple factors such as your logistic distance, capacity, storage, lead time, equipment utilization, and more. So there you have it. That's a very quick look at what Huawei is doing in the 5G smart warehouse space. By providing reliable operations and an increase in efficiency, this creates great heights of value to warehouses. Now with Huawei's 5G AI and cloud computing, this allows traditional warehouses to undergo digital transformation. Not only are these warehouses able to increase their output and productivity, of course, with the enhanced security as well, but more importantly, is to ensure a more greener and sustainable future. In case you're wondering, the workers whose task has been replaced by machines and all that, they are actually being reskilled and upskilled to learn even more, to become more high-skilled workers and actually be able to tackle even more challenging tasks. So there you have it. That pretty much wraps up our video for today. Thank you for joining me on this journey as we find out more about the tech happening behind the scenes. With that said, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.